For this challenge, both teams are to recreate a scalloped risotto dish. One team member will be cooking while the other is teaching. The teacher will be completely hands-off. The purpose of this challenge is to test each chef's abilities in team communication, multitasking, and the ability to train other cooks. I'll be evaluating your dishes based on the level of accuracy to traditional recipes and, of course, presentation and flavor. You'll have one hour to complete this challenge, and your time begins now. In this challenge, the team dynamic really improved since the last one. Morgan gave me very clear instructions and was very easy to work with. She's a natural communicator. I do work well with others, and Maria listened to my instructions that I gave without a doubt. Maria is a great cook, and she followed my directions and executed the dish up to my expectations. Well, this challenge, we really had a hard time. Uh, we decided to go with me doing the teaching, and it was a bad idea. First of all, I, I'm a bad communicator, and then when I'm trying to teach Aaliyah something, she's not taking my instruction and executing the way I want it to be. And then when I try to listen to Tony, he doesn't strategize his plan right. He doesn't do step one, step two. He just goes all over the place, so it's hard to listen to him. Well, there's really no time to, like, plan it out. You just have to do it, and then my steps are, like, pretty clear. It's just that you can't execute it right. I mean, I guess. This challenge was designed to further test each of your abilities when working in teams of two. When delegating different roles, it's of utmost importance to consider each other's strengths in order to work effectively. The final team challenge was performed most effectively by Team Morgan and Maria. Their ability to recognize the value of their individual roles and respect the mutual goals that they held helped them work fluidly. Their dish was delicious, of course, as well.